Welcome back football fans. Today, we're diving into a thrilling new chapter at Barcelona under the direction of Hunksy Flick, the tactical mastermind who has revitalized the Blagrana with a fresh, intense, and dynamic style. After years of ups and downs, could Flick be the one to bring back Barcelona's glory days? We'll explore his journey, his vision, and how he's transforming players like Robert Lewandowski, Rafinha, and the young sensation Lamine Yamal into an unstoppable force. Stick around. This is a story of tactical genius and football rebirth you won't want to miss. So let's get started. Under Hunksy Flick, Barcelona has embraced a fresh and dynamic football style. After parting ways with former head coach Xavi last season, the club appointed Hunksy Flick, formerly of Bayern Munich and the German national team, as their new leader. For Barcelona fans, it was a comforting decision. Flick was known for his extensive expertise. Yet, despite his public achievements, Flick keeps his personal life under wraps. Born Hans Dieter Flick on February 24, 1965, in Heidelberg, Germany, Flick's journey began far from the high-profile stadiums he would eventually command. He started in the lower leagues, playing for SV Sandhausen from 1982 to 1985 until Bayern Munich recognized his talent and brought him on board at just 20 years old. Bayern's tradition of scouting top young German talent was already evident in the 80s, and Flick joined their ranks in 1985. During his time there, he made 137 appearances, winning four Bundesliga titles and reaching the 1987 European Cup final, where Bayern ultimately fell to Porto. Flick's career at Bayern lasted five years before he joined FC Köln in 1990. Unfortunately, serious injuries cut his time there short, forcing him to retire in 1992 at just 28. Despite a short-lived playing career, Flick achieved a great deal and even considered a different path. At 18, he was training to become a bank clerk and nearly pursued this profession, turning down an offer from VfB Stuttgart, who would go on to win the Bundesliga the next season. Post-retirement, Flick channeled his focus toward coaching. He began by earning his coaching badges, completing his professional license in 2003 at the top of his class, alongside notable future coaches. His first hands-on experience came with his local amateur club in Bamintel, which led to a significant leap in 2000 when he became head coach of Hoffenheim. At the time, Hoffenheim was a fourth division team in German football, but with a strong vision for growth. Under Flick's guidance, Hoffenheim progressed, moving up to the third division, a stepping stone that eventually positioned them as a Bundesliga mainstay. His tactical acumen and rigorous training routines set a foundation for the club's long-term ambitions. Following his success at Hoffenheim, Flick briefly served as assistant manager for Austrian powerhouse RB Salzburg under Giovanni Trapattoni. But a call from Germany's national team head coach Joachim Lowe would change his trajectory. Joining the German national team as assistant coach, Flick supported Lowe's vision of a tactically sophisticated squad. A highlight of his tenure came in the iconic 7-1 victory over Brazil in the 2014 World Cup, a triumph that fueled Germany's path to defeating Lionel Messi's Argentina in the final. For his contributions, Flick was honored by his hometown of Bamintel, becoming the youngest ever to receive its prestigious award in 2015. After eight years with the national team, Flick pursued a higher position as Bayern Munich's assistant manager under Niko Kovac. Kovac struggled at Bayern, and within three months, Flick took over as interim head coach. Although initially viewed as a short-term solution, Flick defied expectations, leading Bayern to an unprecedented treble in the 2019-2020 season, including the Bundesliga, DFB Pokal, and UEFA Champions League titles. Flick left an indelible mark. His high-pressing, fluid style kept opponents constantly on edge, making Bayern unstoppable. Barcelona experienced this firsthand when they suffered a historic 8-2 defeat in the Champions League, a game where Bayern's intensity and focus were on full display. Flick revitalized players like Robert Lewandowski, who thrived under his leadership and became one of the most prolific scorers globally, while Thomas Myler emerged as a creative force, achieving over 20 assists per season. By the end of the 2020-2021 season, Flick had cemented his reputation as a world-class coach. Leaving Bayern with multiple titles, he began a new chapter in his storied career. At this stage in his career, Hunksy Flick felt it was time to return to the German national team in the role he had long aspired to, 
officially taking on the head coach position in August 2021. He remained at the helm until September 2023. Although his tenure as Germany's head coach was a challenging period marked by squad transitions and development, Flick's reputation kept offers rolling in. This ultimately led him to secure one of the most prestigious roles in football, managing Barcelona. The Blagrana were searching for a new vision after parting ways with club icon Xavi Hernandez, seeking a coach who could balance their traditional possession-based philosophy with fresh tactical innovation, and Flick fit the bill perfectly. Barcelona had struggled in recent years, losing its way as key players like Messi, Iniesta, and Busquets either retired or moved on, leaving a gap that had yet to be filled by suitable replacements. This void led the club through a cycle of inconsistent leadership. Although Luis Enrique offered a momentary revival, others, like Ernesto Valverde, faced criticism despite winning back-to-back -back La Liga titles in 2018 and 2019. Barcelona's once-feared reputation in Europe had eroded following crushing champions' league exits against Roma and Liverpool. Valverde's tactics often failed to bring out the best in his players, and when Cuixixion took over, promising to reignite the club's identity, he fell short, particularly when Flick's Bayern Munich humiliated his side in the 8-2 Champions League knockout round. Ronald Koeman's subsequent tenure only deepened Barcelona's struggles, pushing fans to long for a return to their classic style. Enter Xavi, whose arrival reignited hope. He delivered the 2022-2023 La Liga title, though with an unusual emphasis on defensive solidity, thanks to goalkeeper Marc-Andre Ter Stegen's heroic performances. However, the allure of a new chapter under Flick soon replaced Xavi's tenure. Flick's impact has been undeniable, bringing a fresh, intense style that fuses tactical finesse with aggressive pressing. His approach has introduced a dynamic 4-2-3-1 formation, utilizing young talents like Pedri Gonzalez to control tempo and maintain seamless ball movement. This structure has made Barcelona's high press nearly impenetrable, preventing opponents from building play comfortably from the back. In only 10 games, Flick has exposed tactical weaknesses from previous eras, showing himself as a superior strategist. His influence has re-energized numerous players. Robert Lewandowski, for instance, reunited with Flick at a pivotal time. Despite doubts over the striker's ability at his age, Flick's tactics have unlocked Lewandowski's best form, yielding seven goals in eight matches. Brazilian winger Rafinha has also benefited from Flick's guidance, showcasing improved consistency, defensive contributions, and an enhanced goal-scoring prowess, with five goals and three assists early in the season. Perhaps the most remarkable transformation under Flick is that of prodigious talent Lamine Yamal. Known for his creative flair, Yamal has blossomed into a goal-scoring threat, with Flick encouraging him to embrace his offensive instincts. His stunning goals have thrilled fans, who eagerly anticipate each display. Speculation is mounting that Flick might similarly revive Ansu Fati, the young forward who donned Messi's legendary number, but has since faced setbacks. With Flick's visionary plans, hopes are high that Fatty could become Barcelona's long-term number nine. Flick's influence extends beyond individual improvements. Barcelona now defends and attacks with a renewed vigor, ruthlessly capitalizing on every chance while shunning complacency. This mentality shift under Flick has fans dreaming of a Barcelona reborn. However, Flick's journey is just beginning especially with Real Madrid in peak form under the calculated leadership of Florentino Perez. And there you have it, the dawn of a new era at Barcelona, fueled by the energy, innovation, and strategy of Hunsi Flick. From reigniting the passion in star players to instilling a fearless, high-pressing mentality, Flick's approach has brought a fresh pulse to the team. The fans' dreams of a Barcelona revival are alive again with each match offering a glimpse into a promising future. If you enjoyed this look at Flick's Barcelona Revolution, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more deep dives into the world's most captivating football stories. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.